Hey, everybody. I'm here because I want to do a test. Now, there's something that I saw in a video from Guns, Nerds, and Steel, and another one from Is Prebuilt, and they spoke about a couple of skills that were actually done incorrectly in-game. Is Prebuilt was saying that this, the way it's actually coded in the game and the way that it functions, is not the way that it's actually written on screen, and that it has a few different properties to it that a player might not actually understand or be aware of. So I was wondering if there were possibly others. So today I'm going to be looking at the perception tree and salvage operations. Now it actually has very clear 20% more resources, 40% more resources, etc. And what I was wondering was, does this actually net you the proper amount of resources that you're going to be gaining? Because I noticed one time while I was using some hacker's candy that there wasn't a noticeable increase when I had it already maxed out. I was playing a heavy perception build, so I was you know, going into rifles and javelins and other things that you would never actually use in normal playthrough because all those things suck. And I was using the salvage operations at a really maxed out level, and I was trying to get steel. So what I'm going to actually try to do is run through it zero, to one, two, three, and etc using both the level and then candy at that level. And I wanted to test to see if there is actually noticeable percentage increases and then just probably run it through an Excel or something like that to see if there's any sort of noticeable difference. So I'm going to go do the legwork and then I'll get back to you. And then I'll probably spawn in something to eat. Okay, now I had set up a lengthy list of various tests to uh, put this thing together with, including cars, workbenches, a few other things that I changed my mind on, and, well. But honestly, I think I might just do only the steel ones, because as far as salvage operations goes, that's usually what everybody's looking for anyway, is how to get steel before you have the crucible. That's the main reason that people are going to want it. Yes, it affects the gas intake that you would get from cars, but I also think that I, and it would affect the mechanical and the iron that you would get from something like this. But I think in such a, a neg negligible gameplay impact that it wouldn't be really be worth testing. So I think I'm just going to narrow it down to these three that are the actual steel producers. And then I'll get back with the results. How did you break twice? The fuck out of here. Turned zombies off, but I forgot to turn frickin' wildlife off. Okay, so let's head over to the results page here. And the first thing that jumps off the page immediately to me is that there's almost no discernible pattern. So I'm looking through, and I expected to see a general progression of 20%, 20%, 20% increase, as that's how the skills set is actually laid out in the, in the perception tab. But I'm noticing... There's discrepancies here where popping the candy actually got less scrap iron than by doing it with just baseline zero stats. And that's not the only instance where that happened. Here we have level three and level three with candy getting scrap iron at an alarmingly good rate, and then going to level four has almost halved. That's not a 20% increase, that's a 50% decrease. Now some of the more important items, like the steel, seem to be kind of scattershotted all over the place. Here with the streetlights, the candy usage was negligible and did almost no impact at all, even leveling it. Going from 17 down to 16, again down to 15 and 14, and it wasn't until level 2 candy that I started to see some actual noticeable increase. By the time I got to level 3 and 4 candy, it was seemingly back down to the exact baselines of zero skills and zero candy. And then a bizarre pop, 
where we get into level four candy and level five, where it gets this huge ramp up and increase. The biggest thing I noticed, and this is actually what spurred the testing in the first place, was I had noticed that when I got to level five on salvage operations, I noticed almost no increase with going from level five to level five candy. And I wanted to see if there was some sort of maybe hard-coded cap in the actual base game that once you hit level five, there is no way to increase your salvage beyond that. And judging by this, it really does actually look like that. In fact, most of these have a decrease after the candy, with some few exceptions. But the forged iron goes down on the transformers. The mechanical parts goes down significantly on the transformers. And the most important aspect, the steel, continues to go down on almost everything except the vending machine. So I was really curious to see this aspect of once you hit five, the candy does no good. In fact, in some cases, seems to somehow have a negative return on things. So I don't know. There's the results. Um, how do you play with it? Do you put just one and two salvage operations to get the wrench schematic uh, opened up? Do you view it as a complete lost cause, like a uh, pack mule or something like that, where you don't even bother putting a single point into it? Um, is this something that you actually crank uh, because you you know, just automatically assume that it gives better and better results as you go along? Or do you just rely on candy and go with a one or a zero? I don't know, very interested to see what uh, other people notice about this and what uh, your interpretation or experiences with salvage operations have been. All right, this has been Seven. Thank you. Bye.